So whenever React executes the render or the return with some JSX and so on, we can make use of conditionals inside of the statement. So I'm going to create a new route to play with this just a little bit. I'm going to create a simple route. And I've chose to, uh, to create the route right here with you so we can get familiar with this uh, process of creating routes. So this route is going to be called conditional, just like that. I'm going to create a route that is going to be conditional. We don't have this just yet. Conditional, just like that. I'm going to go at the bottom. Let me copy this one. I'm going to go right here at the bottom, then paste it. And I'm going to say conditional. And, you know, same name right here, conditional. Okay, so I'm going to go and create the route for this. And again, same thing, conditional. I'm going to go at the top and grab that component. Real simple. So we did this a few times already. Good. We don't have the uh, the component just yet, so I'm going to create it right now. It's going to be conditional.js. And conditional is going to be just a, a functional component. So I'm going to go to home because we don't have much code right here. I'm just going to paste it and rename everything. Conditional, conditional, there we go. And same thing right here at the bottom. And just to make sure that we are getting the correct route, I'm going to say conditional, just like that. OK, it's going to re-render. Everything is good. If we go to conditional, you know, it's working. We get that route. Good. So now what we can do inside here, inside of the return, we can make use of curly braces. And right here, we can run kind of a an if statement. And, and I'd say kind of because we cannot really use this. We cannot do this right here. But what we can do, we can use the ternary operator. If you don't know what ternary is, it's going to be just checking um, a variable, could be whatever. And then you're going to say equal, equal, or whatever you want to check. And you know, in this case, we want to check if it's true. And if it's true, you're going to have something like this. So what it's happening right here is that it's going to check if the value is true. And if it's true, it's going to pass. So this statement, just like an if, is going to be true. So what it's going to be rendered, this code would, it would, will, will be executed. And if this is false, which may, means that the rule, uh, the rule is, uh, there, there's no match with this rule, we're going to be outputting this content. So this is kind of a doing if, and then value, triple equals to true. And if it's true, we rendered this one because it's this one. And if else, which is going to be the column, we rendered the other one. So, you know, just the same thing than this, but in a shorter version. So inside React, inside the render or the return, we can do this. So I'm going to delete this. Now, if we delete this condition, it means that by default, the value is true. We don't have a value right here. So I'm going to create a variable that is going to be called value and it's going to be equal to true. Now, if this condition, this value, it's equal to true, we want to render whatever code we have right here. And what we can do, we can return some JSX if we want it. So I'm going to say div, open and close. And this, let me put it at the bottom. This div is going to say, hello, it's true. Now, if uh, this condition, it's not met, which means it's false, what we can do, we can say null and nothing is going to be is going to get rendered. So if we check this, we get hello, it's true. Now if I change it to false, let me put right here this and see it change on the fly. One second. Okay, almost done. So if I save it, it's going to reload and we are not getting anything because this condition it's not met. And again, this is the same thing than doing this. Just like that. So if we change it to true, of course, it works. Now, for, of course, if we wanted to do the opposite, we would we would have to, to change the statement just a little bit. If we say that this one is false, what we can do, of course, it's not going to work. But what we can do, we can add some more JSX right here at the bottom. So we could say div and then hello, it's false. OK, so if the value is not false, we get true. And if we change it to false, the code that the, the code that's going to run is going to be this one. So we can we can make use of this, and we're going to be using uh, this the whole time. You know, this is pretty common right now. So okay, so right now we are just checking a variable. What we can do, we can use a function. Let's say I'm going to create a function that is going to be returning 
a boolean or whatever it's going to say return value and this one is going to be equal to a fat arrow function just just like that and you know you're going to do all your logic right here whatever and then at the end you're going to return something in this case i just get this function returns true so what we can do instead of checking a variable we can check the function and if the function returns true we get hello it's true if it's returning false we get hello it's it's false uh made a mistake false so you know that's working so you know you can use a function you can do whatever function you want and then you just check this and now right here we are just returning this content right here inside but what we could do we can just make all of this uh, logic inside the actual function so i'm going to create a different function just to prove this it's going to say const and then show it and of course, it's going to be a fat arrow function, just like before. And this one is going to be returning something. So I'm going to grab this, just copy and paste it down here. And I'm going to copy all of this and then just delete it. So we are just calling this a show, show it. So, we, so here, what we can do, if you think about it, if we do the same thing than before, we say return and we return this code just like this. So, you know, this one will not work. Notice that right here, we are calling this function and we are returning something. And we are returning something in curly braces. So whenever you try to return something inside of a function with React, which means that you want to return some JSX, this one, no, it's not going to work. So what we need to do, we need to wrap everything in parentheses. This way, it's going to work. Notice that we have the ternary. We need to add this. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use the same function that we have on top. So if return value is equal to true, we want to, to uh, return this or we want to return this. OK, so I'm going to save it. And OK, we get hello, it's false because the return value is false. If we change it to true, of course, we get hello, it's true. So don't worry, you, we will have the chance to interact and do more logic, more complex logic using the conditionals inside the actual render. OK, so let's uh, keep moving forward. Let's go to the next topic. We're going to be talking about pure components.